Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are back to custom firmware. We'll take a look on how to flash your ASIC if you have to do it via SD card with the example of the Hivoan custom software. When one of the latest Bitmain firmware versions is installed on our machine, it is protected from flashing. This means the only possible way to install any third party firmware is flashing the machine using a SD card. For this we will need a micro SD card with a memory capacity of not more than 8GB. First we format it in FAT32 format, then we download the firmware for our ASIC S9. After this we unzip the archive and transfer all of its content to our SD card. Copying finished we remove our flash drive from the adapter. Now let's move on to our ASIC and for this we need to get to the control board. Unfortunately, we have to disassemble our ASIC a little bit in order to get the SD card in. Next, we have to rearrange the leftmost jumper in a different position. It's the position close to yourself, like this. Then we connect the control board to the power. Apart from power, nothing else needs to be connected to the control board right now. After this, we turn on the power supply and just wait. Now our control board will be flashed. When it's done with that, both diodes will light up and signal to us that the flashing is done. When we have been informed about that, we turn off the power and remove the flash drive again. Don't forget to rearrange the jumper back to the original position. After reassembling our ASIC, we turn it back on and connect it to the network. We launch the program and specify the range of IP addresses in our local network to which our AMP miner is connected and click scan. The program will scan our network, find our ASIC and display information on it, such as IP address, status and the model. After it is found, let's go to the web interface by double clicking on its IP address and we will see the updated firmware interface from Hivon. After this, we need to tell our ASIC that it belongs to us and connect it to our account in Hivos for further configuration and management. For this, we will use the farm hash. The farm hash is an identifier by means of which our ASIC will know that it belongs to us and will allow us to manage it from our personal account in HiveOS. To find yours out, we go to our farm and the HiveOS page to the settings tab. Here you can copy the farm hash, go back to the ASIC's web interface and paste it into the appropriate field. After this, we click save and apply. That's it! You should now have your new custom firmware ready to go. And yes, it is a shame that we even have to have videos like this and that Bitmain is locking flashing, but it is what it is. Thanks again to HiveOS. This video was not sponsored, but created in collaboration for tutorials I have made with them. Please tell me below what you think or what you would like to see in more detail. That's already it for this week. Please tune in for weekly tech and crypto videos. Happy mining and bye!